Hello and welcome to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys for another video and today we are going to be discussing Jose Anaith of Barcelona B and he is a player that Ernesto Valverde according to Sport does see potentially replacing Ousmane Dembele in the coming season while he's out injured. Currently at Barcelona B, 22 years old, and we are going to be taking a look at some clips exactly like this from his season this season with Barcelona B, and also last season where he was very, very impressive in the Segunda with Valladolid. We signed him in the summer, 3.5 million euros, and looking at this guy, he is very much a Barcelona player, and that could be a very, very astute signing. That first goal there, very, very good. And what you'll notice about him very, very quickly is he is a traditional winger. And what I mean by that is what he loves to do more than anything else is get beyond his man. And I do like that because you see a lot of wingers in the current game, in the modern day football, they sort of get the ball. They're very, very cautious. They don't like to take on their man. They're very, very sort of scared to sort of do the things that wingers usually do. They like to get beyond their man. They like to run in behind. And you look at him here. He's got fantastic pace. He's got great energy energy, he always wants to get on the end of things, and he really does like getting beyond his man, getting into the dangerous areas, and look here, very calm, very composed, he's got the finish to finish it all off, and this season certainly, he's carried on where he left off. Last season for Vidalid, he was very, very good, 35 Segunda appearances, and 12 goals in the process, he's certainly got an eye for goal, 6 appearances so far this season, since he joined for Barcelona B, already he's got 3 goals to his name, and 1 assist, you see it here once again, you look at that direct running style you know he brings the ball down and his very first thought is can I get at that defense he glides past one player and he's direct all right it's not great goalkeeping there it's a second league of Spanish football but it's still a decent level you know the keeper doesn't cover himself in glory but it's direct running he's having a go he's trying things that's what you want to see from a winger and the other way that I really feel he fits into Barcelona in terms of his style is the way that he plays the game he likes to cut inside from wide this season he's played most his football on the left-hand side, but he's very much able to play on the right as well, of course, where Dembele leaves us absent while he's injured. And I think when he's on the left, he really likes it because he can cut in on his favoured right foot. You see him here shooting from outside the box, and it's a good finish. It's another goal for him. He played particularly well in this game against Cordoba Barcelona B, winning 4-0 on the day. He got two goals and an assist in that game. Really, really impressive on that day. And with the ninth this season, it's been really, really nice to watch his partnership in particular with this man, Carlos Alenia. He's been really, really impressive with Barcelona B2 this season, and both of them together has really caused chaos. You see him again here popping up on the left. It's a different kind of finish. This time he puts his foot through it, but when he gets in on goal, for a winger, he is very, very calm and composed, because that's another thing about modern-day wingers. Often enough, they get into great positions. You think of De La Feu, you think of even Alex Vidal at times. They've got the pace to get into these areas, but a lot of the time, in the final third, the final decision, the final thought process is not there. They'll panic, they'll lose their composure. This guy in the final throw, particularly when he's in and around the goal area, he looks very, very calm. He looks like he knows what he's going to do before he gets there. And what I will say about him is, right now he's 22 years old, and a lot of people will say, you know what, he's a bit of a late developer, and that's quite true. He's been plying his trade now in the Segunda for a few years with Vidalid. He got his big move this summer to Barcelona B, and he's really been given a showcase here to show what he can do. And what I would say about him being 22 years old, that could actually be a massive, massive benefit to him, because I think a lot of players players who come through the Barcelona system who break onto the stage of football and they're sort of 18, 19 years old a lot of the time it can get to them but this man has got experience, he's a bit, got a bit of maturity now and he can really go from strength to strength, you see him here, fantastic bit of play there, very quick feet he's getting his head up, he's keeping calm and in the end, no selfishness there plays it apart and it's another goal for Barcelona B, that's where he got his assist very very quick in behind, looking to get in behind the defence, timing his run linking up with Carlos Alenia and I'm really, really impressed with what I'm seeing from Young Anaith, and I'm not surprised at all that Ernesto Valverde is looking at him. And that's why I wanted to make this video for you today, guys. I wanted to take a look through some clips. I wanted to see what he's got, and certainly from what we've seen of him so far this season for Barcelona B. And bearing in mind, it's only been six games, so at the end of the day, he's still got to prove himself over a longer period of time. But you can see here, he's got the natural ability. He looks comfortable on the ball. He looks calm in a Barcelona B shirt, and that's what you want. You want somebody who can play with freedom, who 
who can play with calmness and most importantly has got intelligence. That's what you want from a Barcelona player. You want that football intelligence. You want that mindset that can give them the, the platform to succeed here. And I genuinely believe that Carlos Alenia and Arnaith, both from the Barcelona B team, could come into the first team right now and make an impact. And we're just going to have a look at through his goals now from his time at Valladolid last season. Of course, he was very, very impressive. That's what prompted Barcelona to go and make the move for him in the summer. And it did take quite a while to wrap that one up. But he looks very, very good in front of goal. And that's what I would say about him. A goal-scoring winger is something that you really do want to find. And if you can find somebody like that, who's comfortable in front of goal, who can pop up with important moments, you think of somebody like Pedro, who used to pop up with goals consistently from the winger areas when David Villa adapted his game and played over to the left. You think of Thierry Henry. And of course, I'm not putting our knife right now in the same bracket of these players. I'm simply saying that kind of profile is what you need at Barcelona. And that is what we thrive on. We have our three forwards and they're always kind of adaptable. They're always a bit versatile. Our knife can play on either wing like Usman Dembele can. He can cut inside and score goals, but he can also do the traditional side of it too. You know, he can get down the flanks. He can beat his man. He can get crosses into the box if need be. He's got that pace. He's got that good first touch. And you can see him here in these clips. Even last season, he did show his quality. And I can simply understand why Barcelona went for him. And it could turn out to be a real, real steal for 3.5 million. I'm not surprised at all that Valverde can see himself possibly given a knife a chance. I think he deserves it. I would like to see somebody from Barcelona be getting an opportunity in the first team. Obviously, our knife is not a traditional La Masia prospect. He didn't actually come through the Barcelona system. But still, he's somebody who's gone to the lower side, you know, the lower sort of league, if you like, and proved himself and then got himself a chance with the first team. And that's what you want to see. You want to see us investing in younger players because for me, it always feels a bit better. You know, we've signed this guy for just over three million. If he came into the team now and had a real impact, that would feel a lot better for me knowing that we've got ourselves a real bargain. We've stolen a bit of a, a march on the market because I mean, you look at the modern day market and players are going for absolutely crazy sums of money. And if you can make clever deals like this, it can really stand you in good stead as a club. So I would really like to see somebody like our knife come into the first team, have an impact, prove himself just to get that sort of flow going from Barcelona B because like I said there are players in that team that could come into the first team and make an impact players like Carlos Alenia there's young Oriol Busquets in there who's also having a good season there's Cucurella there's Palencia there's players in that team that I feel could definitely make that step up to the first team either this season of course in the likes of Copper matches or possibly next season too you know they've got that season to try and prove themselves and come in and make an impact and that's what I want to see I want to see Barcelona going back to their old ways promoting from within and creating our own talents. So that's the kind of philosophy that our club has had for a long, long time. And I want to see that continue. Even under the current board, I really, really hope that it is possible. And like I said, according to Sport, Ernesto Valverde now for a number of weeks since the start of the season has been tracking our nice progress at Barcelona B in a lot of detail. He's been watching him. He's been seeing whether he can come in and make an impact. And certainly since Dembele's injury, we've been very much on the alert for players that can come in and possibly take up that right wing position and really help the team. Because I think right now we need somebody. And Esto Valverde right now doesn't seem fully convinced by De Feu. We've seen Alex Vidal tried out in that right wing position. And it seems right now for me that he doesn't really fit that role. He doesn't really adapt to that winger role in the way that we maybe hoped he would. And I think we need some options. Certainly Anaith can be a, a prospect. You know, he's certainly had a good start of the season for Barcelona B. He's a man with confidence and that cannot be underrated. It doesn't matter how young you are. It doesn't matter how inexperienced you are at the top level. Confidence in football is a massive matter massive thing. If he comes into the team feeling full of himself, feeling full of belief, he could really make an impact. And I would absolutely love to see that happen. What I would say as well is a lot of people are saying, you know, when did this guy come in? We spoke about him coming into the summer 3.4 million euros. According to reports, both Barcelona, Real Madrid and Juventus were all interested in signing him in the summer. But we did just about pip his signature 3.4 million euros. That's according to Barcelona B coach Gerard Lopez. So that's interesting to note that other big clubs were also interested in Jose Anais. Clearly last season he made a big impact and this season he's been following it up just the same. So I want to know your guys' thoughts because I know a lot of people are very interested in Barcelona B and they're interested too in seeing whether anybody can make that real breakout to the first team. I think that's what we're all hoping for. I think that's what we all want to see. We all like seeing players come up, prove themselves and really make a name for themselves. And like I say being 22 years old really really could help him. He's got a bit of maturity on him. He's got a level head. Apparently off the pitch. He's a very calm character. He's somebody who stays away from the spotlight. He's not somebody who really revels in his fame. He's a very quiet character off the
the pitch. And I want to know your guys' thoughts. Should we sort of bring him in to the first team? Should we give him a try? Should we possibly call him up to a few matches? I think it would be good to sort of include him in some training sessions with the first team to see how he reacts, see how he fits in. And I would really, really hope that in the coming season, we could see somebody like Anaith promoted to the first team, or at least given a few games to prove what he can do. The same goes for Carlos Alenia as well. I really, really hope to see him in the near future, given his first team chance, because I really do believe that players like that, the quality they're showing in the lower leagues, deserve it. So leave your thoughts down below, guys. I will see you very, very soon indeed with more videos. I hope that you enjoyed this video today, just to give you a bit of background knowledge on this man and what he could potentially bring to the Barcelona first team. I'll see you soon, but until then, as always, Visca El Barça. Watch it, watch it, watch it.